Yeah, we got a lot of climbing to do. <laughs> now there's a hidden mission somewhere here, but I can't remember the exact spot. So sometimes you stand right where you need to, and it doesn't even shine up. So this might take a couple of tries. I might have to edit it in afterwards, but um, we'll see. Uh, let's make our way up here. Right. Okay, this might get a little bit nauseating because we're going up a lot of stairs. Right. As you can tell, there is a alternate pathway to take, which is just up there. Now, obviously, when you first begin the game, you don't have double jump available, so it's a little bit hard getting up here. And obviously, at the beginning, I didn't have the blue wings available either. Hmm. I don't think there's anything else here. Right. Ooh, oh no. Ooh, okay. Right. Um. Hmm, yeah. Yeah, let's just drop down. Nah, we'll go back up. I think I, I, I've missed something in here. Did I just see something up there? Uh. It's like Nero's hair looks quite realistic. I remember playing Resident Evil 5, um, like years ago, and uh, Chris Redfield's hair looks so realistic. So I'm guessing they used it's the same hair particle system. Oh no. That reminds me of um, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time with the Forest Temple. <laughs> oh no, I hate these guys so much. Oh no. <laughs> Cheers of Annihilation. Death Scissors. Oh no. Yeah, I, know. I do apologize for saying oh no a lot, but there you go. Right, let's uh, traverse across here. I keep thinking you can jump into that painting, but you can't. I think that they definitely should have put uh, a secret mission in there where you jump in it and then <laughs> you're in the, in the secret mission. I swear those bookcases are supposed to have some blood orbs in it or a green orb to restore back your health. Oh well, let's go this way. You want me to follow you? No way, asshole. <laughs> he sweats so me. much! Oh, come on. He has so charming. Right. I think there's a second one that joins in the fight after a while. So, yeah, there's supposed to be a secret way you're supposed to kill these things. You're supposed to carry one of their scissors when they're um oh look oh well never mind we've done it anyway there we go that took a lot shorter time than the first time uh to finish boss yeah you're supposed to parry one of their scissors when you when their scissors are shining and then you parry one of their blows right oh sometimes the wire snipe doesn't work on them because they usually block it oh no there's two in a row now I think there's an extra one on there that's kind of sad enough. I'm not sure if on, um, what's it called, uh, must die mode, there's even more enemies. Because I've not unlocked it yet. <laughs> hmm. The must die is just going down. I don't think I want to talk because I'm going to leave myself so open. Because sometimes it just acts fast out of nowhere and sometimes it just... Right, let's finish them off. Shoot him! Oh well, <laughs> slash him, it works. Right. I'm walking on to the wrong enemy now. Right. Uh, because I've got no devil bracers on me, that's why this is taking so long. So I'm only fighting with two thirds of my weaponry available. Unless you count the blue wing grab attack. Oh well. Yeah, I did read up on um, reddit.com and people have said that Nero the worst character to play as. Believe it or not, I actually mostly agree, he is the worst character to play as. Because <laughs> his breakers just constantly just break, whereas that's not the case of any other character. Oh wow, I actually got S-Rank, that's why I took so long <laughs> just trying them. Right, okay, we don't have to search around here. Because there's definitely some red orbs somewhere here. Right, oh, finally! One a double breaker. And it's not a very good one either. Right. Oh there's another one, okay. That's not too bad. Rawhide is alright, I've not used it a lot in this let's play. Um basically you get a nice range attack. 
but I just like overture and punchline much more. I do like Mega Boss there, but it doesn't do that much damage, that's the problem with them. Because probably rather made it the Ooh, wow, look at the brackets in here. That's a nice lighting effect. And I'm getting frame drops, yeah. Yeah. How does he not know up, up until this point that? How does he not know who his dad is? It's like, if he got told that, he must know who his dad is. Oh well. Right, there's a telephone thing there. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's just call her. I need some serious uh, replenishment of uh, double breakers right about now. I need this to double trigger by accident. That man is so indestructible. Why not just smack that into every single boss? That would make things easier. <laughs> She's not very nice to him. But then again, he's not very nice to her either. Like, how are they even still friends after doing all this? That's the thing I never understand. Right, we're definitely going to get some breakers. We're going to need a lot of them. Right. Mm, yeah, let's get six. Yeah. We're gonna need them even in later missions anyway. You need yeah, there else? we go. Nice. People have been saying, oh, she sounds like Cindy from Final Fantasy 15. She does sound like her, but she doesn't look like her all that much. Yeah, there's clothing similar, but... And the voice is a little bit similar as well, but that's it. At least Cindy doesn't swear at all, so I definitely prefer Cindy more. Right. Yeah, we're going to need all eight breakers. Right. Okay. Let's get going to this boss here. Now, believe it or not, this boss is surprisingly hard if you're playing as V. But they're not very hard when you're in Nero because you can wire snatch to it really easily. Right. Oh, now it's this boss. <laughs> Right, okay. Oh no. Right. I will say that the combat animation is really well done here. He even does a but uh, he even does like a side no backflip. Just getting right to the point, huh? Surprised he's not swearing after. Ugh. That's that's so resident evil. Right, okay. Okay, the strategy is um Definitely stay close up to her. She can't fight very well like she's close up to her. Just stay close to her as, well, mm, as much as you can. It's so much easier. Don't ever stay far away from her because she just spams long range attacks. Right. Oh no. I think I got hit there. I'm not sure what I got hit by. Yeah. Right. The power is way over to her. Um. Right. I did have to save up that devil trigger up to this point. <laughs> Alright. Oh no, I hit those things. Those hoop things remind me of that one boss fight in Mega Man X A, where um, Sigma uses his hoop lasers, kind of like that. Alright. Oh, I can't reach up on these then. I think those things are getting in the way. Yeah, they are. I even got hit back there. I'm surprised it's not a certain thing like that. Ooh. Ooh, getting hit again. Right. Let's just spam over here whenever we can. Oh, I think I'm going to get a lot. Ah, I got hit. Get out of the way. I think I'm just missing a lot. I am fucking so badly. Right. Oh no, I just done a rev up a really big attack. Do I do something quick? And... What do we do? Quick, we gotta reach her. And we're missing <laughs> so much. Right. There we go, finally. I she definitely would have uh, hit me so much if I let her rip that big attack up. Right, let's use the ground attack and flash and stab her and stuff. <laughs> yeah. This doesn't seem to do a lot of damage, but it's not really damage. Okay, now it does. That's how we end part in a lot of damage. 
Now the thing is, uh, is that when she's below 50% health, she starts flying around even more so. Uh, no, not the uh, satellite looking thing. Oh, it's clear to three, yeah. Get out of the way when she actually does that, she tends to do that a lot. Yeah, she like dives at you like three times in a row. I don't know if she does it four times or if it's random if she does it once or twice. But she generally does it three times. Oh no. Oh no. <gasps> it's also very similar to the laser that you get from the jailbreaker. Alright. Alright. Oh, we only can blast now. Alright. Come on, we're nearly done. Oh, okay, that worked. Ooh. That's why it's not the way across. We're nearly done. Right. Oh, I think I'm flying it across all that then. Oh, I didn't fly very far in there. Right, we've done it. Now, you will see a cutscene that's so different than usual. <laughs> I apologise, but I have to uh, use a particular mod because I don't want to get a guideline strike. <laughs> so you'll see why in a minute. Right, okay. <laughs> this is going to be so funny because of what uh, altered version I've decided to use. not normal. This is not supposed to be what happens normally. <laughs> Sorry guys and girls, I don't want to get a guideline strike so I have to get her covered up. You know her? Normally she's supposed to be covered with slimes, you still don't see anything in the original version. Uh, so I don't want to get a guideline strike. Do this to I'm gonna have to tell her, man. <laughs> Near us weak point. Don't hurt uh, Kyrie. <laughs> hey, loosen up your jock strap. Don't do anything I would do. Right. Wow, the lighting effects are really nice here. Kill me right now. <laughs> I don't think that I would should quite do that. But anyway, we finished the mission like finally. That was quite a big mission actually. Right. A rank. Yay. Do place for a lady. Oh, no place for a lady, even. Alright. Yeah, I had to go and uh, edit this in. I knew I missed it the first time. But, uh, if you go over here, there's actually a hidden mission. Uh, where is it then? Yeah, it's like, like over here. You have to, like, step very precisely. Alright. How do I get in again? Right. Uh, why is it not working? It is here! It is there! <laughs> I did it off screen, now it's not working. I think if you travel upwards and then come back down, I think it'll activate it. I, I don't know, let's, let's try going up then down. That might activate it. Right. So I'll grab that on the way as well. I know this is kind of a rerun thing, but yeah. Uh, I think we have to get up here first. I don't know what triggers the mission thing to come up. Right, get up here. Right. Oh, there we go. Now it works. Yeah, don't ask me how I managed to get that to work now. Right, it's up there. Right, secret mission number two. Don't let any red impulses escape. The best strategy for this is to just spam overchair or punch line. They tend to deal the most damage. Right. Okay. Right, just spam there, don't worry about style. We've already done the, the normal level anyway. Right. Let's try and keep close to them. They don't seem to want to attack you for some reason. So yeah. Uh, where's the second one? Oh, there they are. Oh, exactly. Why is not yourself through it straight over to them? I'm sure that didn't like, uh, work the first time. Alright. Yeah, at least the boss is over, so at least I can get both of them at the same time. Right. Come on. Right. Is there another one? There must be one more. Yeah, there we are. Right, we're we'll to spam here. Oh, there's two more actually. 
It looks like there's three, but I think there's only two. Oh, yeah, there is definitely three. Oh, I'm on an X rank already, and I've been spamming the same two attacks over and over. Right, get over here. Right, just quick. Yeah, there we go, we've done it. We've actually done it. <laughs> Yay. That's how you're supposed to get the blue fragment, but obviously it's been replaced with a red orb. I will say the lighting's really nice here. Yeah, I like the sky and everything. They really worked hard on the graphics. Holy moly. Right. Okay. Thank you for watching the video. If you want to actually show your support, you may tick like, share, or subscribe to my channel. You can even do all three of them if you want to. So yeah. And with that, I'll end up the video. So thanks you for watching.